Approach to management of multiple sclerosis during pregnancy and postpartum. A 29-year-old woman comes to her neurologist for a follow-up appointment for her multiple sclerosis, MS. She originally presented seven years ago with optic neuritis, and a diagnosis of relapsing remitting MS was later confirmed based on dissemination in space and time on MRI. She is well-managed on disease-modifying therapy, and her last relapse was five years ago. The patient reveals she is now considering a pregnancy, but she is worried about how MS may affect her pregnancy, delivery, and the health of her baby. She is also worried about the effect of pregnancy on her disease. MS is a chronic demyelinating disease that affects the central nervous system. It is more common among women than men by a ratio of 3 to 1. The disease is most frequently diagnosed when women are of childbearing age and onset peaks at age 30. Managing MS during pregnancy and postpartum is thus a frequent concern for patients with MS. The mainstay of MS treatment is disease-modifying therapy, which seeks to mitigate the progression of the disease and reduce the risk of relapse. Disease-modifying therapies include interferons, monoclonal antibodies, and immunomodulators. Short-term therapies such as steroids are also used to treat acute exacerbations. It is important to optimize therapy in the time leading up to conception. The risk of postpartum relapse is higher for those who have experienced a relapse in the year before pregnancy. Glutyramer acetate is the only disease-modifying therapy generally considered safe to continue during pregnancy. In recent years, many MS specialists have advised treating with ocrelizumab prior to conception. Other disease-modifying therapies are contraindicated in pregnancy due to potential lethal and teratogenic effects on the developing fetus. The patient and provider should discuss how long to wait after stopping contraindicated therapies before conception. Special care should be taken in choosing a therapy for patients who are not on effective contraception. Pregnancy is thought to reduce the rate of relapse in patients due to a change in the immune system that makes it more tolerant of fetal genetic material and less likely to cause inflammation. The pregnancy in multiple sclerosis study showed a decrease in the rate of relapse among women with relapsing remitting MS while pregnant, especially during the third trimester. The overall rate of relapse in the pregnancy year, nine months of pregnancy plus three months postpartum, was similar to the pre-pregnancy rate. Treatment of relapse during pregnancy is generally the same as for other MS relapses. Special consideration should be taken to avoid steroid treatment whenever possible in the first trimester due to the increased risk of adverse fetal outcomes, such as cleft palate. There is no contraindication to the use of spinal or epidural anesthesia during labor and no special obstetric considerations. Babies born to mothers with MS are equally healthy when compared to controls, though they are slightly smaller. Available evidence suggests breastfeeding is safe for patients with MS and may reduce the rate of relapse. Glutyramer acetate and ocrelizumab are both compatible with lactation. Patients should restart other disease-modifying therapies as soon as possible after delivery if they are not breastfeeding. Pregnancy is a common concern for patients with MS given the high incidence among women of childbearing age. Our patient worked with her neurologist to pause her disease-modifying therapy before stopping her contraception. She soon became pregnant and experienced no relapse during her pregnancy. The patient delivered a healthy baby with no complications. She breastfed for three months postpartum before restarting her disease-modifying therapy. She has since continued to avoid additional relapses. For more information on this and other neurologic conditions, please visit aan.com neurobytes.